Banana Man and the Starship. Chapter One: Neutral Ninja. There he was, sleeping next to a tree. Then he heard a big pshht that woke him up. Then he lazily looked behind him, and this is what he saw. For a second, he thought it was a dream, but then he looked at it again, and it wasn't a dream. So he ran to Bob and Dave's house. So first he asked them if he could have some bananas. Then he told them about the ship thingamabob. Then out of nowhere the neutral ninja showed up, and he said, "I can tell you what that thing is and tell you what to do, but I can't do it for you." Said neutral ninja. Step one: sneak into the starship. Step two: find Starman. Step three. Starman is already on the good side, and tell him you're going to sneak him out. Step four: get him out of the starship. But how am I going to do all of that? Said Banana Man. I thought you were a pro, Banana Man. Said Neutral Ninja. Well, yeah. Just get me my banana sword. Said Banana Man. Here, Banana Man said Bob. Chapter two: Sneak out. Banana and Bob and Dave are hiding behind a bush in front of the starship. They took a shovel out of Dave's toolbox so that they can go underground to get past the star cameras to get in the starship. Now that Banana Man is in the starship, they have to sneak around the starship and find Starman. Ten minutes later, we found him," said Banana Man. Banana Man saw him, so he pretended that he was a slave, and he went up to Starman and whispered in his ear, "I need to talk to you privately," said Banana Man. "Okay," said Starman. "So, Starman, you're on the good side, right?" said Banana Man. "Yes," said Starman. "And do you hate this Star King?" said Banana Man. "Oh, I hate him," said Starman. "Oh, Starman." I'm going to sneak you out, okay? Said Banana Man. But how? Said Starman. I'm going to pretend that I'm a slave, and you're going to take me out of the starship. Said Banana Man. Come on, slave. Chapter three: Invisible. So Banana Man and Starman ran back home, and okay. So Starman, how are we going to be able to get in the starship without being seen? Well," said Starman. "I think I know just the thing. So right now, Starman and Banana Man are in the starship, but this is how they got there. Okay, so Banana Man, here's a big secret. Okay, I can turn invisible. O M G. Do you want to see?" said Banana Man. "Well, yeah. Um, your head. I know." See me? No. And Banana Man, if you touch me while I'm invisible, you would be invisible too," said Starman. "Awesome," said Banana Man. "Wow." Psst, Banana Man. His office is right around the corner," said Starman quietly. "Okay," said Banana Man. Chapter Four: The Star Showdown. Banana Man, this is his door, so get your banana sword ready," said Starman. "Well, well, well! If it isn't the amazing Starman and the showsome Banana Man and his companions Bob and Dave," said the Star King. "Yes, it's us, and we're better and stronger." "Oh, really?" "Yep." "Duck! You can't defeat the Star King." "Now, Banana Man." Uh, oof! Time for you to witness the true power of the Star King. Poof! Oh, you! Oh wait, I wasn't done. <laughs> to be continued. Bow, bow, bow.